Look at Splash. He's so funny. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 7.15 a.m. Good morning, Boo. You want to eat some breakfast? You want some food, Boo? Want to eat? Good morning, Simba. Simba, you want some breakfast? You want to eat some food? We're going to eat. You going to come eat? Going to have breakfast? <laughs> It's 9.42 p.m. right now. I just got home about five minutes ago and the temperature has completely dropped today. And it was super windy today. I was in the city and it was so windy. And when I got home, like everything was blown all around the patio. So I put everything back where it's supposed to be and I gave Hydrox this big bowl of food. Hopefully he'll go eat it because it'll probably freeze overnight if he doesn't. Right now he's hanging out by a shelter. And when I went outside to give him the food, there was a raccoon in the feeder. And it was just staring at me. And it backed off a few feet, like toward the round water bowl. And it just sat there and it just stared at me. And I was like, shoo, go away. And like, again, it just stared at me. And I was like, oh my gosh. So it's obviously hungry and it's not going anywhere. So that's why I gave Hydrox his food in the other bowl because I was going to give him his food in the heated kitty cafe. But the raccoon was like looking for food around there. So um, the raccoon eventually walked away, but Hydrox still has his food in his bowl. So hopefully he'll eat it. It is 10 a.m. Today for breakfast, the cats are trying this tiki cat ahi tuna with crab and tuna consomme. They've never had this before. Uh, the ingredients are tuna, tuna broth, crab, sunflower seed oil, and then we go into all kinds of vitamins and minerals. So it's a really simple food, and we will see how they like it. They should like it because they like tuna. I don't know if they've ever had crab before. They might have once or twice, but we'll see how they like this. This is what the food looks like on their plate. I mixed in a little bit of water. This is two of the small cans split among the four cats, so each cat's getting half of a small can. There you go, everybody. Eat your food. You like it. It's always good to tell your cats that they like the food, even if they've never had it before. Good morning, Hydrox. Hydrox has been laying on the mat by the back door. I'm gonna put some food outside for him. Hydrox just got a can of Deckhands tuna with shrimp in the heated kitty cafe. It is so cold again. It's like, it's around 30 degrees. It was so nice to have warm weather for a while. So tomorrow we're supposed to potentially get snow. We'll see what happens. It's 1.24 p.m. and I've been working from home today and I was doing something in Boo's room and all of a sudden he lunged at the bird feeder in the window, which we're looking at now, and he uh, tried to get the bird that was eating the cat food out of it. Then I remembered that I bought some bird seed the other day, um, which is in the bird feeder right now. I know there's a lot of reflections going on, so it's hard to see. And I also moved this. I moved it so it's lower. So like, here's the cat tower and there's the bird feeder. So now if the cats see a bird on it, uh, they're not gonna like jump up high or anything like that. I had to do some adjusting to the window, um, but yeah, we'll see how Boo likes it here. I'm just about to go outside and give Hydrax some warm squeeze up soup. So this is two squeeze ups with warm water mixed in. I also put some herbs in there for him and I gave him breakfast. So he had a can of tuna, he did not wanna eat it. So then I put out a can of the turkey and giblets and he did not want to eat that. But he's still meowing at me. So I refilled the automatic feeder. There was still food in it, but I just put more um, just because with the snow that way, I'll make sure there's food in there. 
now I'm gonna go out and give him this and we'll see if he eats this. So Hydrox was sitting under the house and I put the food here near the house and he walked away from it. So hopefully he'll go back and eat it. It's 10.45 p.m. and today I made chicken soup for the cats and I have the broth in the refrigerator and the freezer and I have all the chicken that I'm going to take off the bone and give to the cats. Uh, it seems that the cats inside don't really like the chicken because I gave them some, they would not eat it. I had to give them some crunchies, but I know if I put some outside, I know Ditto likes it in the Hydrox, so they'll have some nice chicken to eat. Here's Stella, I had to put crunchies on the plate with the chicken, and they're eating around the chicken. It's 8.30 a.m. I'm just about to leave for the day, and all the cats had breakfast out of their automatic feeder today. Boo's been watching birds. Okay, Boo. I told you I was going. I'm going to be gone all day, okay? And you're going to have dinner in the automatic feeders also, right, Boo? Yeah. You have dinner. And there's even breakfast in case, in case I'm not back, okay? In case I come back tomorrow. We're supposed to get snow today, and I don't know what the traveling conditions are going to be like later. So just in case, they have dinner and they have breakfast. Okay, Simba, you're in charge of the bugs, okay? Have a nice day, catch up on your sleep, okay? Here's Stella, she discovered the bird feeder on the window, so she's been hanging out near it. Stella, you like the bird feeder? She says that not enough birds have come by. She says, where are the birds at? There's food here. Why are they still eating out of the automatic feeder? Maybe they like cat food better. I don't know, Stella. There's a lot of bird seed in there, though. And there's Hydrox's Valentine's Day shelter, except Hydrox is hanging out in the other shelter under the house. I don't know if it's warmer for him or what, but there's a live stream going on and people are watching an empty shelter. It is 6.03 p.m. right now and Hydrox is back in his Valentine's Day shelter but maybe he's coming out of it right now. It looks like he might be going out the back door. And it's still snowing. We have between four and five inches of snow and looks are very deceiving around Hydrox's shelter area. There he is. Um, because there's a lot more snow in other parts of the yard. Hydrox, go back in your shelter, please. Go back in your shelter. So this is what the automatic feeder looks like, and of course, when I come out with the camera, then um, it starts snowing harder, and I hope nothing just got on the microphone because you won't hear anything now. Um, but here you can see there's definitely more snow on uh, the side of the patio. Stella told me she wanted some snow. So I went outside and I got a big bowl of snow for the cats. Stella's acting a little bit weird right now. I thought maybe she hurt her front leg or or something. She was acting really weird. She was acting kind of like Simba acts when he has a limp. You feel okay, Stella? You want the snow? Here, you want the snow? Yeah. Yeah. You want it? Yeah. Do you want the snow? You can have it. I got it for you because you said you wanted it. You want to jump in it? Want to roll around in it? Want to roll around in the snow? No? Stella, I got the snow for you. Hey, you want it? Yeah. Make a snowball? Yeah. Wanna make a snowball? Uh-oh, she's afraid of it. Oh my gosh, she's acting crazy. She's afraid of the snow. 
Why are you afraid of it, Stella? You don't want it? You don't want it? What's the matter? You afraid of it? Does it smell weird? Now, I purposely uh, chose, like, clean snow. I scraped it off, like, the top of where the snow fell, so it's not dirty at all. Simba was sleeping on top of the armoire. Simba loves snow. Uh -oh. It's 7.48 p.m. And this is a first. So Splash is hanging out on top of the couch while I'm sitting here. Well, he was. Then he moved the minute I put the camera on. I think it's because Boo has been sitting next to me. It's 9 a.m. The two brothers are sleeping in the round cat beds by the window. Oh my gosh, and look at this, look. It's Stella and Boo. Stella and Boo are sleeping in the other cat beds by the other window. Well, Boo's on the cat condo. Oh my gosh, they're hanging out together by the bird feeder. Maybe they're gonna bond over their love of watching birds. Good morning, Stella. How are you? Stella says the bird trap is not working. She doesn't see any birds coming by to get food. So yesterday, um, we got more snow than originally predicted. The original prediction was one to three inches. And when I went to shovel, um, before it was supposed to turn over to rain, we probably had about five inches of snow. And I said, I better shovel it because even if it turns to rain, it's going to take a long time to melt. And thankfully I did because you can see that this entire area is pretty much melted away by now. And this area where I did not shovel still has plenty of snow. Except now, instead of being, you know, light, dry, powdery snow, it's heavy and wet snow. So it's a lot worse. So I'm really happy I took care of that when I did. Look at Splash. He's so funny. So I forgot that the cats had breakfast out of the automatic feeders today, which is why they're not pestering me for breakfast. I'm actually starting to wonder if I should feed them more often out of the automatic feeders because it gives me a lot more freedom and it definitely helps my morning schedule as far as being on time and things like that. So maybe I would just uh, give them breakfast in their feeders on a regular basis. They all seem to be very content and happy this morning. So this morning in their feeders, they only had crunchies. They did not even have any raw food. So that could be another reason why, because when cats eat raw food, it does give them a lot more energy than cooked food. But um, yeah, I might try that as an experiment this week. I might just do their breakfast in the automatic feeder all week and see what happens and see how it goes and see if it helps me get out earlier in the morning. Here's Boo. He moved over to this cat tower. He's going to take a bath in the sun. Hey, Boo. Hello, Boo. Boo, you're so pretty. 
Look at the way that the sun is shining on his fur. It makes it look almost like red or brown. I just opened the back door and Hydrox was hanging out right here on the doormat and uh, I'm gonna give him some breakfast. Right, Simba? You guys want some breakfast too? They only had some crunchies out of their feeder and I did defrost some raw food for them. So that's what they'll get. And this afternoon I'm hoping to make some new raw food for the cats. I just gave Hydrox a bowl of homemade raw food with some warmed up chicken broth mixed in. This is the bowl from the Heated Kitty Cafe, so the bowl itself was warm when I took it out. And I just moved it over here because this is where he was hanging out. Hopefully he'll come back and eat. Right now he's hanging out around the side of the house um, getting some sun, which is good. Look at the animal tracks. To me those look like maybe raccoon tracks or possum tracks. They look pretty big. They could be cat tracks for all I know. Because the snow is melting, so as the snow melts, the, uh, the tracks will look like they're getting bigger. It's 10.51 a.m. and look, Hydrax went over to eat his food. That's very good. I just gave the inside cats some homemade raw food also with some warm broth mixed in. Simba would not eat it until I put some dried tuna on top. He is becoming a fish fiend. And then Boo pretty much would not eat it unless I put a few crunchies on it. And of course he then like ate the crunchies and only the food that was under it. So I came up here to his automatic feeder and there were still crunchies in his automatic feeder that he did not eat, like he just left them there. So I then took them out of the automatic feeder and I sprinkled them on top of his food and now he's eating it. Crunchies and food. It's 10.55 a.m. Sim is hunting bugs on the tablet. He's watching the centipede video. This tablet is probably the best interactive cat toy that the cats have. Like, I mean, it provides hours of entertainment for them where I feel like a lot of the other um, actual interactive cat toys they get bored with pretty quickly because they figure them out and for some reason they really enjoy like watching certain videos like look at this he's just totally watching this centipede It's now 11, 11 a.m. and Hydrox was meowing and meowing and meowing. So I said, okay, I'll give you some more food. So I opened a can of food for him and I warmed up some more chicken broth. He loves the warmed up chicken broth in his food. So I have to remember to keep a steady supply of that right now. I think I have like two pints in the refrigerator and I think there's another three or four pints in the freezer. Um, so that's good. Um, but what happened was I brought the food out and he backed away a few feet, but he was still like meowing and meowing and meowing. And I'm like, what do you want, Hydrox? I'm giving you your food. I can't move any faster. So then I held the fork out to him and I used like the little forks. And he swatted at it and he hit my hand um, with his front paw. And thankfully his claws were not out. So that's good. That's a good sign. He swatted at me. He hit my finger, but his claws were not out. If his claws were out, I mean, I would have been slashed pretty good but his claws weren't out, but he was still mad. Um, so then I said, all right, I'll leave you alone. I just came inside and look, he just devoured that. So I'm probably gonna open up another can and give him another can. Because with Hydrox, it's like feed him when he's hungry, he'll eat a whole bunch of food, and then, you know, he won't eat for like a whole day. And here's Boo. Boo wants to know what's going on. How come Hydrox gets canned food? How come, Boo, how come? It's 11.23 a.m. Look at Boo. Now he's watching the bugs.
Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.